This is why before you cancel anybody, you do not take accusations at face value without doing research or waiting until there is an investigation. Let's get into it. Skip it up and that up. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? First and foremost, if you like news like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell notification so you get notifications of all of my newest uploads. But anyway, that plug out of the way. Yesterday, I talked about Dan Avenan from the Game Grumps, and there was controversy around him because people were not happy with a couple things. One is that he would hook up with fans and then ghost to them, meaning that, you know, they would do their thing in the bedroom. <laughs> I'm trying to say this without saying it. And he would make promises to them to, to hype them up, to get them in the bedroom, and then he would never talk to them again. Is it a cancelable offense? No. But is it a crappy thing to do? Yeah. But people were, were making it like he's the most monstrous person on the planet. Again, I don't agree with doing that. I don't condone it. But welcome to basically every entertainer in the industry. My thing is, if it's two consenting adults of legal age and no one's under the influence of anything and they want to get together and have fun in between the sheets trying to find very creative ways to saying this without using the one specific word, then so be it. You can't be mad later because you regret the fact that you consented months before, you know. But the other thing out there that was more dangerous is that people were saying that he was grooming underage people and not of legal age. He would keep it G-rated until they were of age, and then he would proceed to bring them back to his hotel room which even then if there was nothing of adult nature that was spoken about with these people underage I personally wouldn't be talking to anyone 17 years old but that's just me he technically didn't do anything wrong still well anyway a person who again I want to make it abundantly clear I give them credit for coming out and saying there was misinformation there please do not bother this person they have their Twitter protected and like I said, I do give them credit for correcting some of the misinformation out there. They came out with the accusations, but they were like, wait, there's not enough evidence to back this up. Now, like I said, their Twitter is privated. Shout out to Tipster and Blowbacks. I'll have links to their channels below in the description for having screen caps of this. I'm going to read this to you and then we will discuss. Okay, I did some research last night and came to the conclusion that the Reddit thread really didn't have the most trustworthy evidence aside from maybe the video. But the video doesn't prove anything about grooming. So far, it seems more like Dan using a groupie for the thing, which is still, but I'm not sure if there was grooming involved. If there's any other evidence around, I would love to see it, but I want to apologize for that thread getting so out of hand yesterday. It's not what I wanted at all. I was just sharing a warning, but that's no excuse. I'm really sorry for the mess that happened yesterday. I've deleted the thread. If you're mad at me, then that's completely understandable. You have every right to be upset, and I'm sorry. I'm not trying to say that those girls' experiences are invalid. I'm only talking about this specific Reddit thread. I don't know about the other accusations that have apparently happened over the last year. Now, look, again, I'm not saying what Dan did wasn't crappy. Uh, to it, He basically, it wasn't grooming, but he would swoon these girls and, oh, I want to build a future with you. And, oh, yeah, get naked. Now, oh, yeah, oh look, we're done. So now that future's not happening and I'm never going to answer your calls again. Bad. Shouldn't do it. But is it cancelable? No. <laughs> the woman that he was with consented, said yes. Whether it's because he's Dan from the Game Grumps or whether it's because, you know, he jogged the right way and she saw it, that he was well endowed while he was jogging, doesn't matter. She said yes. She consented. And treating someone bad afterwards because you don't want to deal with them again is crappy, but... You can't cancel someone over it. Now, if he was truly, if there was information and evidence out there of him really grooming underage girls to get them into his bed, totally different, but that's not out there. This is just, okay, not saying that doing what Dan's doing is right. Again, I can't iterate that enough, but 
just because you feel jaded because he didn't want to actually marry you or, or he didn't want to continue to have a relationship with you, but you did consent to doing physical things with him, can't cancel someone because of that. Now, he may want to think about, I don't know, stopping doing this because it's bad for his image, especially with something like Game Grumps. It's It, it leans more towards kids. But in terms of him being canceled or being deplatformed or getting kicked off the Game Grumps or anything like that, no, you can't do it because of this. You can't. He, he, he didn't do anything. He may have done things that are crappy, but he didn't do anything illegal and he didn't do anything wrong. And Jesus Christ, again, this is why you have to, you can't just say, oh, someone came out with an accusation. That means that all the person's sponsorship should stop. They should be kicked off whatever show they are on or wherever they work. You don't even have to be a public figure. You could work a nine to five in a cubicle somewhere. You could work IT somewhere and you could walk by someone and your your knuckle could brush against a woman's butt or whatever, a man's butt. And they could be like, hey, they fondled me. But they didn't fondle you. They just so happened to walk by you, and maybe there there was a desk over there. There wasn't a lot of room. They had to get by. They said, excuse me, and their knuckle accidentally get rubbed against your butt. Things like that can happen. It has to be looked into. You can't just say, oh, my God, someone accused someone of something. They have to be fired. Their life has to be ruined. But we always seem to want that. And that's why yesterday I said there's two important things, and I can't goddamn say this enough. Never make the accuser feel like they shouldn't come forward because still even with things like this 90 something percent of the time they're being truthful so let them come forward hear them out however before the person they're accusing gets canceled has their lives ruined the accusations have to be looked into research has to be done and an investigation has to be done. And if there's evidence that comes forward, it says, yes, this person's a terrible person and they did do these things, then they're canceled. But if evidence comes forward like this, that says, yeah, a lot of that stuff was overblown and, it, and it, it, there's nothing to back it up. Then the person shouldn't be canceled. And that's why everyone needs to pause breathe and before they get their pitchforks out and want to ruin someone else's life they have to wait until all the chips fall as they may and we see all the evidence presented to us i learned this beforehand but especially with the pro jared thing that happened chill wait and see again this is more proof that cancel culture is out of control this is rich of review tech usa signing out have a good one Hey, if you enjoy my content, consider becoming a ReviewTech USA member. I'll have a link below in the description. I live stream now on this channel all the time, and it gives you access to cool emoticons to use as well while I live stream. Again, link below in the description. Thank you for your continued support.